We often will have a lovely experience, like we'll feel the warmth of that spring-like air and go, wow. But we don't pause and let it sink in. Now, why is that important? When we have negative experiences, they go right into our implicit memory, which shapes our feelings about life. If you have a hundred experiences with a dog, ninety-nine of them are good, and once you get a bit, which one do you remember, right? goes into the implicit memory, but not pleasant experiences so well. So in order to change a state, a passing state of happiness into a trait, you need to make it stickier. You have to bring it and let it sink in, which means you have to pause for 15 to 30 seconds and really feel it in your body. That's what gives it the stickiness so it then gets remembered in the implicit memory and it's available. Um, this, this process has been described by my friend Rick Hansen, who's a psychologist, and he does it beautifully as installation. You have to install positive states. There are possibilities throughout all of our lives of moments where we can gladden the mind and develop the trait of joy, but we tend to miss them. We tend to be so on our way somewhere else there was a, a story uh, that it, this occurred in Washington, D.C. in 2007. I think of often. It took place in a Washington, D.C. metro station, a cold January morning. There was a man with a violin, and he paid, played six Bach pieces. Uh, it took about 45 minutes. And during that time, about 2,000 people went through the station, most of them on their way to work. And he played continuously. Only six people stopped when, to listen. And um, about 20 gave money, but they just kept walking at the normal pace. Uh, the only uh, children, a few children stopped, but the parents then hurried them along. So as it turns out, no one knew this, but the, the violinist was Joshua Bell, who, if you know, is one of the most famous and great musicians in the world, and he pay, played one of the most intricate pieces ever written on a violin that was worth $3.5 million. He had just played two days before in a theater in Boston where the seats averaged $100 a seat. And there he was in the subway and everybody's just rushing by and not uh, listening. And it's, I think it's one of the best social science experiments that I've ever heard because it tells us, or it makes us ask ourselves, how much do we miss? How much do you miss each day where there's a possibility to have contact with somebody that could warm up your heart or to take in some beauty or the, the, some sense of wonder, sense of the mystery of things? We could pause and really get back in touch with yourself, your own breath, and sense a little of that space of presence that is mysterious and is beautiful. You know, we miss a lot. So it's a choice, this, this choosing for presence. And we need to have the experience and then install it, let it be savored. Mm -hmm.